Good day mga Kabahin Techers, this is your Kabahin Tech and today we are going to open box and share our initial thoughts on the Akesis EC7352 and finally we slowly crawl up with getting a thousand subscribers for our channel I do appreciate everyone, thank you very much So I bought this Akesis or Akasis uh, EC7352 for the purpose of doing some sort of backup or a secondary drive for my mini PC that I set up as a home server. So my mini server is running uh, Zima OS and we're going to have a different discussion about the Zima OS NAS uh, system. Just for disclaimer, I purchased this one with my own money. Uh, Cases didn't send this one to me. So my thoughts and my reaction for this one are just basically for my own. I didn't. So let's open it up. So the product can hold 3.5 drives. It could also hold a 2.5 SSDs or drives, but you have to have a converter for it. It has its own power. It supports Windows and Mac here, but on the website, it says it's, it also supports Linux. So this supports uh, four RAID modes that which we're going to discuss later on and give some thoughts on that part. My expectation would be similar to yours uh, opening this one for the first one. So we have the actual uh, box. It's aluminum. We have the literature and then on the side I think this one contains all the cables that we need. So we have uh, USB A to USB C and the screws that we're going to use and also the uh, power cable. Then they give us a screwdriver. The power adapter is a USB uh, type adapter this is very useful you could also snap it out and use like a, a different type of connector if you do have it connectivity wise one of the USB-C will be going at the back of the enclosure and then this one either if it's a USB-A and then this one would be a USB-C as far as I know this one is a USB 3 Gen 1 so it's a maximum of 5 uh, gigabytes per second theoretically it works as an external drive with uh, some functions, more functions than an external drive. One would be it can hold two drives and then it has the option of what you call redundancy or RAID. We have the power here, the USB-C and then the power adapter here. It can be set up as like this or you could set it up like this way. I wish that they could have this pull tab in front. Uh, for me, this would be my front, but I wish the LED lights would be in this side rather than at the back. Because my intention is to have the ports connection that you see here located at the back part. Or you could have at least the LEDs here in front. That would be ideal. The pull tab is to pull out the actual tray where the hard drives will hold. It's uh, vented at the front, if you might notice. And the side is um, grills that to dissipate the heat. Inside, there's not much to look at. And also the screws will go at the bottom to lock the caddy or the tray. So let's assemble now. So uh, my intention is to put two 10 terabyte drives here and to set it up as a large or a span. Meaning those two drives will merge together as if one drive equating to 20 terabytes. Uh, there are four modes for this one that you could see on the literature. The first one is RAID 0. It means that it will double the smallest drive. Let us say one terabyte and then the other one is 500 gigabyte. It will only show up as one terabyte drive. The downside for the RAID 0, if one drive fails, everything fails. Um, for the RAID 1, it's a mirror. So if you have two 10 terabytes, the first drive, which is the first 10, will just be mirrored to the other one. The usable space will just be 10 terabytes. The GBOD is just a bunch of drives, meaning those two drives will be handled independently so you are going to have two 10 terabytes drive if one fails those data that is on that drive is the only one that is affected the other drive will still be functioning it will not mirror the data from one drive to the others and then the span would be it will identify the sum of the two drives so in the previous example with uh, raid zero if you have one terabyte and a 750 gigabyte it will sum it into 1750 gigabytes there is also no redundancy if one drive fails then data will be lost so when it comes to a speed of data transfer it all depends the speed of your drive the speed of the interface that you're going to use but i could show you some numbers when i plug it into my mac i know it's a cringe you will tell me that why not do raid one as i mentioned a while ago this drive will also be mirrored to my nas every night so that's the reason why i'm either setting it up as a raid or a span once you set it up as a raid one and you decided to do a raid zero or a span or a jbod it will wipe all the information that's on the drive because it's going to reconfigure itself so it's either you decide on what setup you wanted to do now there are other different raid configuration but it pertains to more than two drives so let me just put in all the drives i do have two 10 terabytes here the other one is a barracuda 10 terabyte i know it's a different brand but uh, this is all what i have you put or snap the first drive is to set up your uh, read configuration the read configuration is on this uh, red tab over here with two slots we're going to do span the first switch going down and then the second one should be going up so let's put this drive on the hdd one and we're going to snap it in there will be screws that you will see on the sides and that is 
is the one that they provided. And for the hard drive number two, another 10 terabytes. So let's slide it again. Also, before we put back this one, there is a small fan here. I wish that they could have like two fans. I know there is limited clearance when it comes to putting mechanism here or probably have a line here that has this three and have a fan in here. So put it back. We're just going to slide it in. So this two goes in line with the, the hole for the screws for this one. So even though I'm not sponsored by Acasis, I really love their product. I've been using a few of their NVMe enclosures and also some dock. Let's see and plug this one in on a Mac. We're going to run the speeds when it comes to RAID 1, RAID 0, and the span. When you are setting up the RAID, it takes some time for it to set up everything uh, on the device. Sometimes, uh, what I noticed, it took some time, probably a minute or so, before the drive shows up and it asks you to initialize it. It's hardware controlled, so all of the RAID setting is encoded on a chip on this enclosure. I plugged the external drive already and then there is a power button at the back. So let's see what will show up first. I turn it on. Then the blue lights on the case will turn on as you see in here. Then it will take some time to initialize everything. Okay. So I'm going to initialize it and it will show up in here. So all you have to do is erase this one and you might see that it, is, it says that it's a total of 20 terabytes here. Let me just go through and add this one on our disk test. This one and then I click on open and then let's start off with the one gigabyte stress test and click on start. So roughly on a one gigabyte span test, this uh, reaches around like the 400 megabytes uh, for the write and the read which is around 200 megabytes which is fine for a mechanical drive. So let me stop this one and let's do the the bigger test and let me start it off so it will run around the 200 250 megabytes for a 5 gigabyte transfer test for write and then somewhere around the 200 megabyte to for the read for the 5 gigabyte test now we're going to set it up as a raid zero and it will show that we will need to initialize it again and then we are going to run a disk test for this drive on the speed based on the raid zero mode set up for the one gigabyte stress test and let's run it the read one is a little bit higher than comparing it to the speed and that is expected performance so let me stop this one and do the five gigabytes test and start it again so here in the span if i'm not mistaken is around the 200 250 for the right and for the read it's around like the 100 150 mark so for the rate zero averaging 300 to 350 and the same goes for the the read and the right so it's around like the 300 megabytes and then i'm going to eject the drive and we're going to set it up as a raid one then we're going to run it again and let's test it out To sum it up, I've been using this external drive for the past seven days. If you are going to use this one uh, as a direct connection going from this to your computer, that's fine. It goes to sleep for 10 minutes. If you're going to ask me, can I adjust that 10 minutes sleep time? There is a software from their website where you could change the sleep time or if you want to just have it on all the time, just go to acasis.com. When your intention is to plug this one to my Terramaster, uh, my Synology, even a mini PC that runs Sima OS, once it goes to sleep, it really goes to deep sleep. What it means is you have to literally turn it on again for it to go back and that's the reason why and get an orico brand and see if that would be a best option for me so overall thoughts with this one when it comes to the build it's really good price is really good too but from those caveats of issues that i've encountered i have some reservations to it so that's it mga kabayan techers we finally creeped through the thousand mark and i do thank you a lot if you are new to my channel take some time and click on that subscribe button if you like this video kindly click on the thumbs up and again thank you very much and have a good day